to ELX Pro. Uh, today, I'm going to talk with uh, Ricky. He's been working as a software engineer in Elixir, and which is fantastic. He's been working in Brazil, some companies abroad, correct, Ricky? Yeah, yeah, thank you. Uh, First of all, thank you very much for having me. Welcome. It's a pleasure to have you. Could you tell a little bit more about yourself before we start? Yeah, so I'm Rick from Brazil, uh, more specifically Minas Gerais, so I'm the Mineiros. <laughs> but uh, so I've been working as a software developer for five years now, and three of, of those years have been with Elixir, so it's been quite a ride, and and I'm, I just can't get only more passionate with Elixir as the years go by, so uh, that's a uh, just a summary of me. Nice. Could you tell a little bit more about how was it before the Elixir and how did you feel about that? Yeah, so uh, before Elixir, I was uh, doing an internship on a company in my town. Uh, we didn't have these remote work types, so it was everything in person and on site jobs. So I was doing this internship and I was working with uh, PHP and JavaScript. Oh, so <laughs> I, I'm, yeah, I'm from the PHP uh, guys. Let's, uh, let's not say anything bad about them because PHP gave us a lot of jobs. So yeah, yeah. But, it, but no, it was not good. It was not good at all. But yeah, so I was working with PHP and I had this friend that was <clears throat> that was trying uh, different languages. And he was a senior, so he was trying to get some something that was more exciting than just PHP and JavaScript. So he got to know Elixir, and he finally got to know you. Uh, he was, I think, he was a friend of you. It was it was Marcio Marcio Avellino. So yeah, and and. He was a friend of mine as well. He worked with me and he told me about Elixir and I started to, to get to to get attracted to Elixir by this point. Gotcha. How did you feel that uh, when you started with Elixir? Pretty different. Uh, I think that when you try a new language, you try to dig you try to dig into it and and you see that you have to start thinking differently than before because uh, you, you know the programming logic and data structure, but when you start trying something new, then you start to see that, no, I have to, to think differently here. For example, if you're gonna do a loop uh, in PHP, it's not the same as a loop in Elixir. So you have to think how the data will be handled and this kind of stuff. So it was pretty different because Elixir syntax was, syntax was different, was different from everything else. And, and I think that was the main problem that I had in the beginning, but I knew that Elixir was a great language then, and that it was uh, like a, the future of the market at that point. And I wanted to get into that. So I pushed myself in and, and I got around it. Gotcha. Yeah, when you mentioned about uh, language, I, can't, I started with Java. I was oh. so frustrated before Elixir because I had to study Java 1.5, 6, 7, 8 changed a lot, and then 9 changed a lot too. And now I think Java is more stable, but that time was pretty difficult. And when you when you mention about thinking differently, is that I came from a OO approach when I moved to mm -hmm. a functional programming approach, mm -hmm. things are was so different. I understand you. Uh, mm -hmm. You mentioned about the Marshall, uh, that he mentioned me too. Uh, how did you meet me and could you tell a little bit more? Yeah, so uh, Marshall, Marshall told me about an event that you were uh, that you were advertising at the, at the time. It was Elix Pro, but it was for the Brazilians. Because yeah. Elix Pro in, Por <clears throat> in Portuguese, so he, he showed me this this uh, event, and 
he, he told me it was free. Uh, it was a three-day event. Uh, and, and, and he said, hey, if you want to know more about the language, this guy's going to show up a, like a, a little application, which was Trilo Card. I, I think you remember that. I was, mm. I was on that. I was on that class and I got and I and then I subscribed and I got really excited about because there was this guy that was building something that was uh, solving a real problem and it was a real a real application. Uh, it was not just uh, some examples. Oh, this is how you you make a loop in Elixir. This is how you make conditions in Elixir. No, you were really building something that was useful and it was with live view at, at the time. So I, I, I found it to be pretty exciting. And that was when I met you. So he told me, uh, I have him on, on LinkedIn if you, want, if you want to add him. And then I added you and you were, you were accepted and we exchanged uh, our first messages there. And that, that's how I got to know Lix Pro community uh, at the time. How did you feel about that? Awesome, because uh, as I told you, people usually when they uh, offered courses and and when they you know offered any kind of training, they would just give some arbitrary examples of how you call this, how you call that, but they didn't uh, really uh, put that in a, a real situation, in a real world situation, and how you were going to use that technology in the real world. So. And Elixir did that. Elixir Pro, so, sorry, <laughs> Elixir Pro yes, did that at the time. They they showed how you could implement that in a real world, and and that's what I found uh, the most exciting part on the event. Thank you for telling me that. Yeah, that was the reason that I brought the Elixir Pro, especially in English, because. Uh, I feel that Elixir has a potential. Uh, it's a potential language to change the world, how we think about how to build apps and stuff like that. And yeah. bringing some examples in the real world, it changed the game. But well, thank you for telling me that. Uh, just one more question, a couple more questions, but one of them is that Did you have any doubts about Elixir before joining Elix Pro? Yes, I did. I did have some doubts and it took me quite a while to finally really jump in into, into the course. And I think I was uh, very annoying with you because I would ask you questions all the time before buying the course, but you were pretty patient and you answered all of them. I asked some some stuff like, uh, uh, is it really like focused on building real world stuff, just like in the events? And you were all, you would always answer and say, yeah, you're gonna build this. And you even showed me some applications that we would build on the course. So that was pretty uh, that was pretty cool of you. And and these kind of things kind of made me feel more comfortable to buy the course. So, uh, in terms of of how 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 I felt before buying the course and what doubts I had, I guess it, it was kind of this, you know, if I was really gonna learn all of that, and and it was all true when I bought the course, I finally saw that, and I finally got my first chance to work with Elixir uh, in I think less than three months. Awesome. Yeah, I remember that. That was super excited for me. Uh, one of the questions that I have, what was the biggest challenge that you faced before uh, learning Elixir and then when you joined to Elixir Pro that you saw that it's much more simpler but after you joined? Do you have yeah, examples? Yeah, yeah because uh, in the beginning, when I was working with PHP, I, I worked as a full stack, but it was kind of a mystery to me on, on how make uh, applications from scratch to deploy, to deployment and make deploy simple, make CI simple. It was a really, a real mystery to me. And when I 
joined uh, Alex Pro, mm-hmm. you you just taught those things from from the beginning of the course. You know, from the beginning you taught how to deploy, how to make CIs, how to implement good practices before starting starting to code. So that that really made the difference. And now I can just easily, uh, like literally in less than five minutes, deploy an application and. I'm already coding with good standards and and TDD and and making my my code a lot more uh, cleaner than before. That that was one of the things that was a challenge before, and and then I just saw it was so simple. Thank you. I really appreciate you saying that. Uh, one of the questions that I have to you is when you enter to a uh, course, what impressed you mo- the most? Yeah, so it was, first of all, it was the community because even when you couldn't answer uh, our doubts on the course, people were already answering like in seconds. And even now, if I post something there, people will start answering because just the community itself that we built, like in, on interviews, I like to say that I'm part of of a Brazilian Elixir community. And sometimes I even say it's the biggest the biggest Brazilian Elixir community because that's what we are. That's what we became over the time. Because as people came in, then we became closer and and now everyone there, when we have doubts, we just post there and people just start answering. And, and when someone new comes over, everyone greets them and makes them feel like they're uh, welcome. So uh, just the community that you get when you enter the course it's something really game changing and that was one of the things that impressed me the most thank you for telling me that it's good to even for me i think it's good to hear that especially about the community because i i i, I just watch the community mostly because when i when i want to when i join to answer questions most students just answer quickly oh god so it's so fast so i really like our community <laughs> they're gonna replace you over the time <laughs> uh, yeah yeah that would be great that would be great yeah. if some of you guys uh replace me it's gonna be awesome to be honest i i would love yeah. to yeah and that, that is awesome as well because uh some of the people that enter the course and they didn't know anything about elixir And then like a, a few months later, they're posting videos teaching something in Elixir. They're teaching you to do something uh, cool, like how, how do you do a deploy faster? How, how can you use uh, some kind of data structure? And so people are not just learning, they're learning and, and, and teaching the new ones that, come, that comes over. So that's cool about the community that we grow as a team and we start uh, supporting each other as a team as well. Thank you for telling that. What were the difficulties with Elixir and how do you think the course helped you with them? Some uh, problems with Elixir that I had. Uh, I guess, uh, as I said in the beginning, was Uh, really understanding the difference of of the syntax because this, the elixir syntax was pretty different. I like the pipe operator was something new for me, and I think for everyone that gets into elixir, unless they're coming from Ruby, uh, they don't know anything about pipe operators and pattern matchings. Uh, so this was some stuff that uh, I had uh, really. A hard time with and when I joined the course and when I started doing that on day-to-day basis on my code and watching the videos I, I just realized how much of, of, of a, a help it is a big help it is that will, that's what makes Elixir really uh, better than the other languages because pattern matching and pipe operators is just one of the features from Elixir that makes Coding in Elixir really magic and really better. Like you feel comfortable uh, building code in Elixir because of these tools. But before you you don't know them, 
it's it's just a mystery and you get really mm. frustrated and afraid but uh, in the end you just see how much of a help it is so that that's one of the things that helped me the most it's true to hear that uh yeah when i joined when i was a java developer and i joined to learn elixir five operators was a nightmare for me oh is that really true you only need to think about the next step so it's crazy <laughs> yeah and super helpful what changed your career after elix pro yeah so a lot changed because i wasn't like uh, working with what i wanted i wasn't really doing what i wanted because i wanted to be a developer but i wasn't working uh I wasn't feeling well because uh, over the time you you start working with something that you don't really like, you start uh, considering yourself if you really wanted to do that, you know. Did I really want to be a developer because this is, this is not what I was looking for. But uh, after uh, I got to know Elixir and I got my first Elixir job, uh, it all changed. Uh, when I started working with Elixir, when I started learning Elixir, actually, I, I knew that I wanted to work with it and because it was pretty exciting. And after three years, it still excites me the most and I don't want to stop working with Elixir. Uh, yeah. You have their live view, which you, you can see that uh, you can build pretty much anything uh, yeah. in live view. And you just have to use Elixir. Uh, and of course, H HTML. <laughs> <laughs> uh, it's all a mystery. but so so you 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 get to do what you really like and and before i started working with elixir i was really considering if i wanted to be a developer but after i started my first job i just knew that this is what i wanted to do and and i hope that elixir doesn't get topped up uh, in, a, in a pretty long time because I really want to keep working with it for a long time as well. <laughs> yeah, me too, me too. I hope so. Uh, you mentioned that, I remember when you showed me, uh, hey guys, uh, I implemented the quality uh, practices and pipeline CIs yeah. on my job and they felt uh, yeah, they excited good. about what I did. So I remember that which is yeah, fantastic. They even, they even made a post uh, 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 about that on their blog, about uh, the CI. And that was pretty exciting because I never I never knew that I could like really change my team's productivity on, on my work and that, that would happen. So, yeah. Yeah, I remember perfectly that. I felt... Uh, awesome and so glad for you so yeah thanks thanks a lot it was all thanks to elix pro <laughs> thank you uh what application did you create what applications did you create in elixir yeah so uh most of, of my application was my applications was personal applications uh for example I am focused now on today on building something with AI. And so I like to do some, some tools with AI, like for example, chatbots. Uh, for example, when I was trying, when I was looking to buy uh, for a new car, I knew, I saw how much of a bureaucracy it can be to make a leasing, a leasing of, a, of a car. So I started to think of how can I translate that into a real, application in Elixir and I started implementing CI, uh, not CI, sorry, I, I'm still with my head on CI. I started implementing AI to solve that. So uh, it was kind of a, an application where you could uh, get simulations of leasing, car leasings uh, with AI and that was built on, on top of LiveView and Elixir. So uh, this, this is one that was most exciting. And, and and I'm still working on it. I wanted to get it uh, better, but I, I lack uh, the the opportunity to, to work on something that's open source. I I think I have to 
to uh, think on, on, on a way to contribute to open source because I think uh, it's pretty awesome as well. So yeah, the, these are some of my applications that I've uh, worked on lately. Good to hear that. So I'm still studying uh, a little bit about uh, AI with Elixir. So mm -hmm. uh, just for information, I'm preparing some prompts that I've been using with ChatGPT with Elixir to make my day more productive. Yeah. Probably I will share with you guys in the short future. And that's it. Um, probably I'm going to start implementing a couple of stuff, but just sharing with you some of my thoughts. Uh, awesome. If you're willing to answer, if you want to answer that, how's your career today and what are your plans? Yeah, so my career today, I'm, I'm, I'm working for a Brazilian company and uh, as we as we've talked before uh, this is my plan <clears throat> that i want to start working uh, for a company abroad i have worked for companies abroad uh, previously but uh, with elixir uh, not much so i want to start working uh, uh, in an international company using elixir so this is like my my focus plan right now great if Someone is watching and want to hire uh, Ricky. I'm going to share his LinkedIn here too. Thanks. Thank you. You're welcome. <laughs> uh, one more thing. What would you say to any developer who wants to enter to Elixir market? So, yeah. Uh, Elixir market today is like in everything because... Uh, a few years back when Elixir started, it was mostly on financial stuff. So people thought that Elixir would serve only that purpose, but that's not true because Elixir has a lot, a lot of uh, really great features that other language, languages doesn't have. And if they do, they maybe don't have, they don't have it as complete as Elixir. So with Elixir today, you can build pretty much everything that you can think of. And you have like a wide variety of Elixir apps out there today from financial to AI to e-commerce, uh, everything. You can uh, investments, you can do anything with Elixir. And Elixir is fast, it's real-time language. It uses uh, a lot of stuff under the hood so it can be really fast so what i would say is uh, if you want to know if you want to get to know a new language that's gonna be the future and that's be already being in the future uh, you should go with elixir if you're already a dev and you already know a language like javascript just go with elixir and you'll see that you get uh, not only get to know a new world of the programming uh, stuffs, but you really uh, get pretty excited and you really see that Elixir is the future and you see that uh, it's just it's just awesome. <laughs> yeah, I 100% agree. I think that that's all the questions I have for you. Uh, do you have anything that you want to add before we no, finish? I think I just want to, to thank you again for having me and and I just want to thank the community of the Alex Pro guys because uh, we've been together like for three years now because all, all the three years that I have been working with Elixir have been with uh, Alex Pro uh, helping me and supporting me so uh, I just want to just want to thank you all for that and let's Keep being awesome, right? Together, everyone. Yeah, thank you so much, Ricky. Uh, I'm so grateful for our time together. And see you guys later. Bye bye. See you. Bye. bye. I'm gonna stop.